I hope we're, we're not going to get scared. Okay, first day, first morning here in Cappadocia. Say hello, Georgia. Hi. We just had breakfast in our lovely hotel. I put it up on screen. The room we've been staying in is really cool. It's like a, it's not quite a cave hotel, but it looks kind of like a cave hotel, uh, which I really like. Georgia and I are feeling quite active today. So we're going to go for a fat hike. <laughs> the, the plan is to hike multiple valleys, whether or not we give up after the first one. Let's see. Uh, got my drone when we got an obscenely heavy camera backpack because I always get footage FOMO I don't want to not bring any piece of my equipment hopefully we'll also be able to get some cool shots because the scenery already like we've been walking five minutes the scenery already is looking amazing all right we have found our first penis rock you can see it there with its iconic bulbous top at the tip and the shaft running down all made of rock it's kind of crazy Yeah, it's quite high up, isn't it? Okay, first leg of the hike is done. We just walked through Pigeon Valley, which is really cool. We already saw some of our first uh, penis-shaped like rock formations, which is kind of neat. Makes you wonder how they actually like came to exist in that shape. It's kind of interesting. If any of you do geography, let me know. We are now in the village or city of Uchisa, if I'm pronouncing that right. And there's a really cool castle that we're gonna go and check out, and we'll also stop off for some lunch. Because even though that was a short hike, I'm not gonna lie, I need a break. Talk me through it, what do we have? Uh, our Airbnb host said it was like Turkish ravioli. Um, and then this is the dish of the day, which she just said is a meat and a rice. Just had an amazing lunch at this place. Do you remember what it's called? Cadenelli? Ca Cadenelli? Or maybe the other way around. Cadenelli or Cadenelli? I'll put it up on screen, but our Airbnb host told us there's this like association of local women that just run this kind of like kitchen for locals. And uh, they do really amazing food. We tried the Turkish ravioli and something that else that was described as meat and rice, which is also Dish of the day. Behind me, you can see the Uchisa castle, which we're gonna head up now. Um, the view's already stunning. We're gonna go up there, try and maybe fly the drone and get some awesome shots so far this has been a really good trip your thoughts so far it's really good yeah it's really tasty and the views obviously are incredible mtv welcome to our crib show us around give us a tour well here's my little bathroom <laughs> <laughs> enjoying the view it's a very cool we are at the top of Uchisa Castle. It's a very easy climb, you know, you just walk up a couple of stairs. I'm definitely not out of breath. Uh, we're gonna take a quick chill here and uh, get the drone out, get some drone shots, which I'm pretty sure is allowed. Uh, at least according to the Airbnb host, it's not illegal. So, should be cool. Hey! <laughs> is it cooler in there than it is outside though? I think so, yeah. It's wow. quite nice. I actually quite like it. What do you reckon? You're a good buyer? Maybe. Yeah, it looks really good. There's a green one. Well, the red one looks better with your red top. Oh, I like that. The shopping <laughs> hall. <laughs> we tried to get. <laughs> Amazing. I'm obsessed with my new hat. It's been about two hours of walking and we have reached Love Valley, which is famous for its phallus shaped rock formations, which you can see in the background. I'm going to get the drone out and I'm going to try and fly it quite closely to the phalluses. I don't think I can say that word. The other balloon's the same. They look really quickly, mate. I hope we're, the, we're not gonna get scared. No, 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 we chill. Off we go. Oh, 
crazy thing. It's pretty incredible. It's crazy when you see one of them, look, that's like moving way, way quicker than the others. Hey MCB, welcome to my crib. Come in, do it. So third day in Cappadocia. I've got my fresh trim here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. It's slowly growing on me and on Georgia. So hopefully she doesn't find it too jarring of a transition. Okay, <clears throat> just stepped out of the Turkish bars and yeah, it was really good. It was a really good experience. Uh, what I really like though, uh, what they do at Turkish bars is they actually wash your hair afterwards, um, which is all included in the price. I paid about 250 lira, which is around about eight pounds, I think which is very reasonable and the fact that they wash your hair just means that you don't have those little hairs like falling onto all of your clothes for the rest of the day uh, which I think is super nice all right let's see what Georgia thinks of the trim hey what do you reckon what? <laughs> oh my God. What? I please tell me you don't hate it Okay, cool, cool. Anyways, so yesterday we did the balloons, which was an incredible, magical experience. The only, only caveat that I had was actually super hectic to try and get photos. You can't really walk around in the balloon, obviously there's a lot of noise. Every time the dude like pulls the fire, it looks really awesome, it's also super, super loud. Halfway through I realized, okay, I'm not actually getting any of the shots that I want to, which is fine, because it's still a really cool experience and I can, you know, be in the moment and try and just enjoy it. But the money shot that I wanted for this trip, I haven't gotten yet. And that shot is basically a shot of a sky with the sunrise, with loads of balloons, and also loads of cool like mountain and rock formations. So the next couple of days, maybe we'll try and wake up early and go to one of the sunrise viewing platforms and try and get that shot. But not today, because today I woke up at like half past 10, which is really bad, but it's been like three days of terrible sleep in a row. I just needed some rest so I can actually enjoy this holiday. And today what we're going to do is two main things. We're going to go to a place called Kaimaka Underground City. And in the evening we're going to do a quad bike tour where George and I will be sharing a quad bike together and drive around for two hours watching the sunset, which should be really awesome. This is so crammed. Do you think people are just way smaller? As in, surely they weren't like two feet tall. I don't understand. But then how do they function in those conditions? Oh, oh that's so painful. What did you do? <sighs> Yeah, this is quite tall. Oh wait, big man, little tunnel. <laughs> this is exactly how they used to chill back in the days. <laughs> Let me grab a seat as well. There we go. Why I think why I think is mad is that instead of building houses, which is something that we take for granted, right? Like we obviously in the West, like we would go somewhere and build something, maybe using wood or using stone. They're doing almost the opposite of that and they're excavating like holes into the ground. So instead of building something, they're like removing something to create a room uh, instead of building like the four walls, for example, which is an interesting alternative that, I don't know, you don't really see that often. Oh, hey Jimmy, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> <laughs> is this your room? Yeah, this is where I, you know, I just have a little nap space, you know, mm. just chill with a, um, you know, I get my room service through this little hole. Oh, through the hole, that's amazing. Yeah, just ordered like a Red Bull earlier. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Thousands of people lived underground here, and instead of like, you know, building four walls to create a room, they obviously did the exact opposite and they removed material from the earth to create these caves and have this really, really complex, like, cave structure with all these tunnels connecting the different rooms and stuff it is massive like truly mind-blowing uh it has been quite challenging for someone like me to explore all of the tunnels and the nooks and crannies because it is quite small and apparently this is actually on purpose so what they did was they made the rooms really large and comfortable which you know i can comfortably stand up in these rooms 
but the tunnels are purposely really small and awkward to get through. And that's a defense mechanism because they were actually you know, defending themselves from invaders in this cave system, which is really cool to learn about. Do you need a hand? Just finished our trip in the uh, underground city and now we're trying to get a bus back to Garem to get back in time for our quad bike trip. We don't have that much time and we also don't really know where the next bus is because this bus stop does not have any signs nor a timetable. I don't even know if it's running. Um, so we're just kind of doing a bit of a leap of faith and hope that a bus will eventually arrive and bring us home. We are back at Woodfire Barbecue, which is an amazing restaurant here in Garem, which I we can highly, highly recommend. Um, picked a very good spot to record my YouTube video, clearly. We just finished off our ATV quad bike tour, which was amazing. For 30 euros, we basically had a two hour experience, but then including the pickup, it was a three hour back to back experience. And they stop off at multiple points and you take in the view. And we did it at 5 p.m., which meant that we were actually able to see the sunset as well, which was really, really stunning. Uh, the only downside to the ATV tour is prepare to get really, really dirty because you're basically just driving through clouds of dust. Your entire skin and all of your clothes are just gonna get covered and that's okay. Uh, but just keep that in mind if you are considering an ATV tour. Right, so tomorrow, <coughs> While we did do the hot air balloon ride, there's one thing that I still haven't done that's on my bucket list. And I want to take a sunrise shot with all the hot air balloons in the sky and like a cool mountain range or a cool valley. So to do that, Georgia and I are actually going to wake up at four o'clock in the morning and start hiking into the Love Valley here in Cappadocia. And gonna hopefully get a really nice shot because that's the main thing that I want to get out of this trip. So another early morning, so we're gonna have this dinner and go to bed immediately. And fingers crossed that it works out. Sweet. Do you want to say anything? No, thank you. That's it. Yeah. Okay, people, it is 4.47 in the morning. Uh, Georgia and I just had another early morning start and they uh, hiked up into the Love Valley. Hiked up is a bit dramatic. It's like, it was a 15 minute walk. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Because we're staying centrally in Godema, it has been pretty chill to get to places. So yeah, we woke up at about four o'clock, slowly walked over and found ourselves a really good spot to basically watch the sunrise, which is just behind me. And hopefully we're gonna be able to get that money shot. Uh, George has got a lovely white dress on that we're gonna work with. And we're just waiting for the balloons currently to get inflated. And it already is a really magical view because you can see these intermittent pockets of light as the balloons are being inflated and as the fire is like being turned on and off. Uh, so we can just kind of look into the landscape, kind of go, oh, there's one over there and there's one over there, which is really cool. We're gonna wait for the balloons to get started. We're gonna wait for the sun to come out and fingers crossed, we're gonna get some really cool shots. Time to get this money shot. We made some friends up here. Most of this morning has been very romantic and alone, private. Um, but we have some new friends now who are actually really helpful. They helped us take some of the photos by helping me hold the light. It's been quite challenging to take portraits in, this, in these conditions because there's a lot of light coming from the sunrise, obviously, which results in your subject, if there's a person stood here, to be very backlit. I mean, even these balloons, they are still very backlit. I'm not sure if I can recover any of this in post, but... Yeah, those ones will be more lit up, but they won't have the sky candy in the background like this. Let's see what the wide angle's saying. Ooh, wide angle's good, you know. Hold on, let me increase my aperture. I don't know why I've been taking low aperture photos this whole time. 
Georgia, do you want to come stand in front of me over there? Yeah, yeah, actually. Look at that balloon over there. Wait, that's really nice. Look at that. Maybe I'll get my light. What I've been doing to illuminate Georgia and counteract the backlitness is I've attached my 40 watt, 40 watt light from Julian onto a little mini tripod just to make it easier to hold. Okay, Georgia, let's do that one again. Yeah, that's perfect. Rotate your body a little bit more. Awesome, have a look. The wide angle is just making sure that I can have a bit, couple more balloons in the shot. Hey. That's so close. Hey! Ooh, look at that sky. Oh, what, that balloon? Yeah, yeah that's mad. Wait, I can see their face. Oh, yes, I got the flames. Close up of the flames. That looks sick. Wait, so the flame is when it, you want it to go up? Oh my god, there's literally so many, like, sick shots here. Mm. I like it when they do the music thing. All right, it's our last night here in Cappadocia. We're flying tomorrow morning, which I'm really, really sad about. But Georgia and I climbed up the viewing platform one more time, uh, just, just to take in these beautiful nighttime views of Cappadocia one more time before we leave tomorrow morning. We had a pretty chill day today. I went to this place called Pashaba and the Zelba Open Air Museum. Both of them are really cool to explore. Even though we've seen a lot of rock formations and that sort of landscape on this holiday, those two are actually some of my favorite ones, just in terms of the sort of aestheticness and like the beauty of the natural landscape that you can explore. All in all, this week was one of my favorite ever traveling experiences. This was amazing. It was everything that I hoped for. The food was great, the scenes were great, company was all right. Um, <laughs> what was I gonna say? I'm really excited to go home and edit all the photos and videos that I've taken. And yeah, nothing, nothing more from my side for now.